Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Saturday, June 15, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Psalm chapter 16, reading verse 8. And it says, I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. And I say, Amen. We thank God for this assurance this morning. Hear the servant of the Lord saying to us that because he have the Lord on his side, he knows that he will be okay. And so as people of God, we must always allow the Lord to lead. Hear what he says here? He said that he have set the Lord always before him no if the lord is leading you and me then we know that we are safe and secure because god will not lead us astray and the choices that god make on our behalf they will bring us blessing and peace and that is why it is important that we put god first in everything that we do when we are going to make make decisions we need to put god first when we are going out on the road we need to do what put god first whatever it is that we do we need to put god first because when god go before us he sees the danger and he's able to put the danger out of our way is able to put the fire out but if you and i lead we can't see the danger we can't see what is ahead and that is why i like the song that says where he leads me i will follow because what god knows the way to go there's another song that says one set of footprints in the sun and the reason there is one set of footprints in the sun is because what? He is carrying you. Don't you want God to carry you? So why won't you let him lead? Let him lead. Put your life and your decisions in God's hand. Put your families, put your spouses, your children, your job, your friends. Put everything in the hand of God. Because who is it out there? can pluck you out of God's hand. No one, no one, because God has the power to secure you. God has the power to protect you. And that is why we can have the confidence in his ability to see us through whatever it is that we may be going through. And so like David, we can say, I, you, we will set the Lord always before us. Because what? He being at our right hand. He being at our left hand. He being in front of us. He leading from behind. So in other words, he surrounding us with his constant protection and favor. No harm can come to us. And then you may be saying, Ryan, I don't necessarily believe that is so because I have seen people who are serving God. They still have trials. They still go through earth and they still suffer. But I will tell you this. Being a child of God doesn't exempt you and I from the elements in this world that seeks to arm us. But what you and I can be assured of that even if we should be physically afflicted like Job, like Paul and those guys, our reward is greater than our trials. And so if we remain steadfast, if we follow the leading of God, if we allow him to walk the path before us as we walk behind him if we allow him to be the light on our path if we trust in him if we keep our eyes 
on him, Jesus, then what? Our faith in him will remain steadfast. I always, you know, recall the story of Paul and Silas in prison. They have learned to always put the Lord before them. And even when their lives depending on it, they never turn their backs on God because they know the God that they serve, that God is able to protect them. And even if God should allow them to suffer just for a little bit, that he will not forsake them. And so a little trouble don't always mean that God has forsaken you. Maybe he's just testing you if you really trust him to lead you. Have you ever thought about that? But if you just get up and start to complain and start to blame God for everything that is happening to you or not happening to you, then you have just proven to him that you don't trust him to lead you. And because you don't trust him to lead you, you rather him follow you than you follow him. And so you will not set him before you. And because you will not set him before you, you will make all kind of bad choices. You will be easily moved by the things around you because you are not under his protection anymore because you have removed yourself from it. And so I encourage somebody this morning, trust God, he will not fail you. Like David, set him before you and you will see that he is more than able to take you through. Amen.